Thank you for that note that my eyebrows are especially flighty today. I appreciate that. How is everybody doing? Okay, okay. Are we seated? Do we have our food orders in? Are we settled in and ready to go? Because I got my full combat pants on and I'm ready to do this thing. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't... I got to eat just barely before the show. I don't know if you guys ever ordered food here, but uh, yeah. the food has gotten real tasty of late, and I, it's very yummy. And, I, and I've, I've noticed that I get in here and I eat, and it gets me in the vibe. It gets me in the moment. Food's been a big part of my life the whole time. In fact, you know, growing up, well, there was always food, because if not, I would have died off like a dinosaur that I am. Yeah. But uh, here's the thing. As I was, uh, as I was coming up, I realized... Food's always been there, even when things were really scarce and really tough. I remember one time I had a romantic candlelit dinner where I was the progenitor of the raw food movement. Don't tell the hippie girl that the power was out. It's true, it's true. It's amazing what a little adversity would cause culinary creativity. There, it, it actually goes back to my childhood. I remember when I was a kid and I was coming up, you got to imagine basically these clothes, only this tall, bigger head, bigger feet. Still with the beard. It's the exact same image about here. You, you got to realize when I was coming up, we had a fully stocked pantry, which didn't make a lot of sense because my parents only cooked once or twice a week and left the rest of it to be the, you know, fend for yourself like you were raised by wolves, which meant I ate a lot of peanut butter and jelly, which was cool because I dig me some peanut butter and jelly. Even to this day, every now and then I go have a little childhood experience, right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. The problem was, when we ran out of breakfast cereal, I had peanut butter and jelly twice a day. <laughs> and one time my parents went out of the town and left me home and I had peanut butter and jelly three times. Oh, that's okay, my favorite meal. My favorite meal. My favorite meal again. Here's the thing. It is good in every little variant, but I didn't know how to cook. I'm like this, I'm a little kid. I didn't know how to cook yet. And one day I snapped and I said, okay, I gotta figure this out. And I tried anything. I think I ended up having a macaroni and uh, hot dog salad sandwich with a side of PB&J just to make sure I had a meal. <laughs> Which is why I used to fit these pants. Uh, but here's the thing. Something miraculous set in that caused that to happen. Boredom set in. You know, we are the most adaptive creatures on earth. We can live in a bucket of crap. We can. All over the world, terrible situations happen and we human beings, we just deal with it. Until boredom sets in and we go, it's like this flash of light. We go, hey, maybe instead of enduring this, I can screw with something and make it different. Ooh. Ooh. And next thing you know, we screw up the whole world. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not what I meant. No, 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 that's too far. We make, we make a change. And rather than the world being something we adapt to, we start adapting the world to us. Now, that's a revolutionary thought when you're a performer. One of the things, newbies, that we talk to the performers about all the time is rehearsal. And in order to go from good to great, you've got to do things over and over and over and over again. A hundred times, a hundred times to become graceful. You know, sooner or later, I'm not gonna lie, about the 15th juggling practice in a row, I'm bored. I'm dedicated. I'm completely dedicated. I'm completely devoted, but I get bored. And I go, well, let's try something different. And in that moment, when I start screwing with things, interesting stuff happens. Now, I'm not telling you to stop the rehearsal. Don't stop doing the work. But every now and then when you veer off, go ahead and go with it. See what happens. Sometimes boredom is just the door to something a little more interesting. And I'll make it up to you. If you promise me you'll get bored and try something weird, I'll give you one day a week where you will never be bored. And we'll call it Monday night at the open stage. <laughs> 